We got some exciting news coming today. We're about to go look at a couple houses. We got pre-approved for a loan from the bank to get a house. So about to head out there now. We're gonna be leaving this place that we've been for three years. Now Marlon and Lisa are buying uh, their first mansion and we're buying our first house. So a lot of big things happening for DDK and DDK NC right now. All right, thanks for tuning in. I don't know how much I'll be able to record right now though because it is like a rainstorm right now. But we'll see what we can get over the next couple days. Hey! The first house. I have to fix that fence up for show. It's pretty decent. I like brick foundation. Looks like a newer AC unit. I'm gonna walk around the house real quick. Take this fence down and make a nicer one that goes to the wood. Goes to the woods, and even come up beside the house maybe. Yeah and go in the front yard with the fence. The rooms are pretty big. Frog. It even comes with a boat. I would bring the fence all the way I'd go hunting by air, get some free dog food. Got a big old front yard. You got you come with two boats. You can't beat that. I wonder if they just yeah. put this one up. Cause it's not really cleaned up. Looks like they just got done. There's a whelping room right there. We need to get up. Yeah, the skeeters out here though, that's one thing I'm gonna be looking out for. I ain't doing the skeeters. I ain't having my doggies getting bit by no skeeters either. There's a trail that goes back in the woods back there. Yeah, we just going hunting. And then there's another one right here. We actually typed in that address, but we didn't really like the yard. The yard wasn't big enough, so we came and checked this one out. There's skaters everywhere. Yeah, it flew right in my ear. Oh. There's 107, so maybe 108. Oh, I seen a bot fly too. Dang, I don't know about that, but <laughs> here's the other yeah. one. That one's nice, but the yard is just too close to this yeah. other yard. Yeah, well, it makes it seem like it's tiny. Alright, y'all, we pulling up to the next house out here in Swan Point. Showing people 
All right, then I have to edit this part out because y'all can't know where we lives at. Um, you want to type it in, baby? 140 Swan Point Road. This keeps not working. Just type it in real quick. There's 136, 137, 142. Is that it right there? That's it. That's it? Yeah. It, it didn't say 140. Yes, it does. 140. Does it stop flat over here? There's a driveway right there. This is the driveway. We can get some gravel put down. Baby, let's go check it out. They want to get out this time. Come on. Got a nice little front porch. Let the doggies hang out here so people know we don't play no games. We got we got big dogs and they don't play. They don't play. She might be out here gonna lift her drink. I like the front porch, what do you think? Yeah, you like it? You like it, baby? We got a rocking chairs out here. We can see where they got that white fence from and do one just like it over here. Got a big old barn back here. I hear all the frogs. Oh man, that's a big room. What is blackberries? We got we got blackberries, free, Look, free blackberries. Oh, they got it, it comes with free blackberries all over the porch, bro. Maybe that's why they didn't cut them. I don't know. That would be kind of cool, actually. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, what's up? Checking out the house. Hey. She said, hey. <laughs> she said, hey. <laughs> Got a big old barn. Oh, we play. Yeah. We play. Got a big old barn. So we just talked to the neighbor over there. His name's Jason, and he's super cool. So that's cool. And he said that it don't flood here when the storms come. We getting that inside edition out here, baby. We getting all the news. <laughs> it said it don't flood over here, which is awesome. Because if we are gonna live in the ferry, that's the one thing that would be scary. Yeah, yeah, it was. Once you mow it, it's like a circle driveway. Nobody's just drove on it in a while. You can see where there was gravel into a circle. That would be pretty. That might be a <laughs> Yeah. Needs a roof, but it's a hell of a deal. Got a big barn. I think since they said that barn is <coughs> insulated. But it's got that big hole in it, but I can fix that with one piece of plywood. It's like there used to be a window there. They've got it locked up. There's another shed in the back. <coughs> Over there. That's like a laundry room or something. That's what inspections are for. They probably make them Yeah, I don't know how they could sell the house with the roof not with the roof not fixed, honestly. It's a bigger house. Alright, well, we'll look at the ones in Richlands too. <coughs> this one's in Holly Ridge. Oh my god, that's wrapped up by that. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Too many things wrong with it already. Huge on the inside. Oh. Looks like they just put a new, another house right in front of 
this house. I don't really like that. Oh, private property, no trespassing. Yeah. It's got a nice barn and a nice... If there's a lockbox on it, you can walk around it. It's posted no trespassing though. Yeah, I don't really like it because it's right there next to people. Yeah. Can't never leave the house because as soon as you come home, this is what happens. Yeah, you look guilty. You're like, you're about to have a heart attack. It was probably you, on it? Probably you. And Bear, I just hope Bear didn't eat something he wasn't supposed to eat. That's the one thing that's worrying me right now. Oh gosh, where is he? Where's Bear? Yeah, well definitely you. Look how big your belly is. Did you hear that thing just shut? He's just drinking water out of the toilet. He's figured out how to lift the toilet seat. Bro, what is your problem, bro? What is your problem, bro? Huh? You're not head. Wow. Sweet, right? Just what I like to see. Yeah. It don't really bother me. It'll only take a second to clean up. I might film you. You can film me making them pick it up with their hands, with their paws. But I'm just scared he ate something he shouldn't have ate. Look at his belly. All right, time to let some dogs out. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, because he's my favorite dog. <laughs> I think you're going to have to go put Bear down. He can't walk. He can't get up. <laughs> he just pooped on himself. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this anymore. I love you so much, buddy. He got into the trash last night and he's been coughing. We'll take him to the vet right now. We're about to go to the vet right now, but I just wanted to show you how much fight this dog has. She's acting like she's putting CBD on him. I gave him some CBD. I thought he couldn't walk, but he's still trying to walk. But I gotta get him to the vet. I'm gonna cut this off. He was just walking, so I don't know what to do. He's a fighter. He got into my trash yesterday. Marlon's texting me. He got in my trash yesterday. And his belly was real big because he, he has cancer. The vet said he wasn't supposed to make it to 2020. So I brought him to me and I switched his diet. And he's been doing really good. He was, before we went to look at houses yesterday, he was doing good. He was, But he knocked my trash can over. The, the cancer makes him so hungry all the time. So... He's always wanted to eat stuff I've caught him eating. A toothbrush I had to take out of his mouth. I don't know where it is. I had it up here. I've caught him eating a toothbrush. I've caught him eating a collar. I've caught him... He puked up pieces of a baseball when I first got him here. He just... He's got like pica or something. He just... 
yeah. wants to eat stuff. Oh, and then on top of that, my dog ran into him and knocked him down. I think it hurt him. <laughs> it's my fault. I don't even know why I'm recording. I just feel like I need to explain to everybody what happened because it was my fault. It's dumb shit that humans do. Bear would have never let that happen to me. <sighs> He's my best friend. He's been my best friend for 16 years. He just went potty. He's doing better. We're gonna go back and rest. I got him some pain medicine. He didn't eat all day yesterday or today, so he's looking rough. But I'm using this towel to help carry him in. I'm gonna do that now. Oh boy. <laughs> Sick <of> boy. <laughs> <laughs> dog in the world best dog never forget those eyes buddy your pure soul pure soul he was an 85 pound dog though he's only 49 pounds I'm 
so sorry, buddy. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get a tattoo of it. so much for doing this oh, a lot of people do it i mean if you actually got one of my dogs paw prints tattooed on him because he grew up with him all his life down here and yeah that's awesome he got the tattoo yeah he got the tattoo we Where'd did he but he at? did he got it right here that's where i was thinking mm -hmm. yeah that's what i was just thinking came out really really nice too i was impressed Those hairs a little bit right there. So All right. It, so it doesn't. Because sometimes that stops it from getting a good print. Probably isn't any tattoo places open right now. They are open. They are open? Yes. Because I've been itching and my <laughs> husband checked yesterday. I was like, are they open yet? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. But he checked for me. He's like, they're open. So. When did you get that one on your arm? I swear I remember you getting that one. one there. It's, um, it used to be Unique Ink, but now it's called the Blind Stag. Uh -huh. It's like across from um, the diner. And oh yeah, I know exactly what mm -hmm. you're talking about. I love them in there. They do really, really good work. If, the other place that open, does I'll probably just go in there then. The other place that does really, really good work is um, Twenty One Guns. Yeah, I've heard about them too. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, she just did that one. Dang, that's awesome. I 
I'm gonna do another one because sometimes after the first one. Okay. You got it? Yeah. First one that has too much ink, so I'm trying to do the second time. And I mean, that one came out pretty. Yeah, it so did. So we can get the different um, the separation of the toes on that one. Thank you again. Thank you so much. <laughs> You okay with that, or do you want me to get it a little bit lighter there? It's up. It's up to you. I mean, I know I it's that. his fault. If, if you, I want you to be able to get a good tattoo. <laughs> 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 I know so what I they'll mean. trace it exactly and do it exactly they like do it. they make a copy of it is what they do they run it through like if you bring them a picture how they run it through that copy machine that they have yeah. and then they just put it on your skin and then they do all the little he just has such a furry paw i wonder if and that one gives you a little bit more and he can fill in yeah there too cool. you okay with those yeah those are good because I can do it again if you're not. Yeah, that's okay. This work. That'll work. And he'll probably touch it up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. This is take that one too. Yeah, me. I'm gonna do another um another part down here. See how this one comes out. This way it gives you some choices and something that he can go off of too. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let me put these in the bag for you so you don't get ruined. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Be with me forever, buddy. Forever and ever. And this way he'll be able to tell you which one would be. That one's probably too much ink, but I kind of like that one there. Yeah, I like that one a lot. <laughs> I think that would. I think that. Yeah, there, yeah. I think that one would be really, really make a really nice tattoo. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There you go. And they're probably open down there, and they're probably itching for business too. So. Okay. All right. God bless you. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. We'll take care of him for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we just left the vet and the guy stopped us and waved us down and said he couldn't find his dog and then the dog came running right up to us and we got to give him his dog back it's like almost like bear saying goodbye we reunited that guy with this with his beagle <laughs>